everybody and welcome back to episode 59 of our Anavasi Let's Play on Total War Rome 2, the Divided Imperial Overhaul mod. Hope you guys are doing well today and you're ready to get right into this. And I hope you all are having a good uh, Monday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so I hope you all had a good Sunday too. Alright, into the turn. And uh, we did have a politician die, but that's fine. He wasn't leading an army. The key is out. And other than that, I got some construction done in Masalia. That's nice. Actually try and get this place rolling we probably want to make it just a normal Endovus Grove because it gives a lot of public order and I don't see anything other than the where is it other than this one because it gives unit recruitment melee skill I thought there was one that gave uh, upkeep reduction, but maybe not. Oh no, it's that building. So yeah, we're going to keep going just with these because they're really worth it. Two food. We're already sitting at a negative eight. So might as well just start importing the food. Over here, farmer's market's usually the best way to go. Slave trader. It would increase trained slaves' resources. Uh, I don't know. Reduces slave population decline. Two slave unrest. Slaves are only at a negative four in this province. The meeting hall would get population boon. Public order, entertainment, banditry, bread and games. And population. The war games is not useful. That farmer's market, though, is really nice all the time. That allows... Ooh, that one's pretty nice too. That's 12 banditry tribute. Uh, farmer's market or the meeting or the meat hall. Let's just stick to our normal and go farmer's market. And over here we're getting that which increases public order, lowers food. We're gonna probably want to get a field here, counteract that. The Romans have not engaged us. In any way. Our spy up here in the north, keeping an eye on the front lawn. Everything seems alright. Have him go over here. We don't want our border to get really pushed. Because currently, Nemosis, the only army we have, we have no armies in the north actually. Uh, they've all been pulled down south. That army is the garrison army, but they don't have anything pushing us. We are recruiting down here. We're only at 6100 though right now. So we might want to play safe and only recruit one army. Because this one's a thick one. A thick army. We're going to keep sending them down. We can probably get the slingers done because they're cheap. Are they? Well, yeah. Yeah, get the slingers done. Because of how cheap they are. That won't cost us a lot to maintain. And over here, do we want to push during winter? High supplies. These are all taking high supplies. Some of them are not fully replenished yet. Probably want to get that underway. Uh, you're sitting at 155, merge. You're sitting at 100, okay. I think, I don't know, I think we've got a decent... That army really could push as well. Uh, Masalia should be okay. Distracting, they're making 1800 from Genoa alone. I think we should probably try and disrupt that. For now though, let's just march a little closer. Alrighty. And with that being, do we want to upgrade this? Uh, it's a lot of public order loss. I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to do anything else. Oh, we get some nice Celtic warrior Gallic swordsman. Gallic spearman, yep. That'd be nice. Get anything fancy from here? Not really. Nothing that we don't have. Um... I think we're ready to end our turn. 
I'll see you guys on the flip side, y'all. And welcome back. We have an economic intent dilemma here. As your dominions grows, the need to fill your coffers increases. I don't know if we're struggling too much with that, but of the many lucrative endeavors open to you, which seems more profitable, agriculture, trade, industry. Um, agriculture. That was pretty nice. We got some nice uh, companions. Two public order or the drinking. That one's really nice. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. All right. It is now spring. The Romans don't have any forces. The only thing that looked a little threatening is the Metacarmi and I have come up here and fortified. But it is a Gallic tribe, swords, Belgae medium. I don't know, the Tyrones. Tyrones have an army up there. I don't know if they're at war with them, though. Are they? Are you at war? You are at war with the Tyrones, right? Yes. Well, speaking of that, do we have anybody else that we can ally with military-wise? I really want to get Egypt. Welcome, friend to the Ofero, the master of two houses. Speak now of your desires. Egypt does not want to actually go into a solid military alliance, which is never fun. I am honored to greet such an ambassador of such worthy people. It's interesting to My see Rhodes is so strong. I am impressed that you have spoken so well on your people's Oh, well, well, we'll fuck with it later. Rome is definitely... I want to kill Rome before we end this series, but we can definitely, I think, achieve the military objective pretty soon. We're... We still need some more military uh, troops and navies, but... Alright. So we're going to besiege with this army. Oh my god, that garrison would be so hard to really fight. Jesus. Let's march the rest of our forces in. Just to make sure there's no... chance of uh, them winning. 183. Uh, we could liberate, but I think we're just gonna. Uh, I would probably want to loot and occupy. No, raise, kill the, s uh, help with public order too. Killing all of them. That's two turns, four turns. That ain't too bad. Italian immigrants. I wonder if this is worth it. Conversion to Italian culture. That's not good. Well, none of that seemed worth it. You get a garrison eventually of Italic levies and a Brutinian infantry, and those neither one of those are really that worth it. I think we will stick with our culture building and then probably a farm. Oh, that would be nice, actually. The trader's field, and we could go for that. I don't know if it'd be worth it. Oh, that gives some sanitation. The upkeep, though. I feel like we're going to be here for a while. So for now, we'll get that. So we've cut off their trade. Hopefully they're suffering a bit. <clears throat> oh, we are still replenishing. That's nice. So that is pretty nice. Our population, I'm sure, is a little interesting. So yeah, we've got 13,000 foreigners. Ain't too bad. Milanum should be our next target. It, it's got a huge garrison. But it's not developed all the way. They seem to have not switched or swapped out their military building. Which is interesting. Maybe it means Rome is struggling when it comes to finances. Meaning, probably helped them really by eliminating the army are those three legions that pushed on us. I'm going to keep moving this army down here. We're sitting at 5,000 total. We've got two armies here. 213. 157. Mm, they're really armored, so I mean, it's probably worth it. But, oh yeah, we can't get our cool... Our cool spearmen, or our cool sword cavalry here in this province. We can get that unit though, but do we want to melee defense of 19? 
Oh yeah, we can't get the other one anymore. Yeah. I think... Probably worth it. Uh, for now though. I'd rather... Uh, 166 for the cavalry. Uh, eh. Get four of them. March this army here. And get your four. Because we do want to set sail soon. We're going to need a baggage train too, probably. For at least one of these armies. Yeah, we're probably going to want one. Uh, but with all that done, I do think we're ready for another in turn. Genoa is ours. Milanum's next, unless we get hit by the Romans somewhere. But no armies or troops in sight yet. But yeah, I'll see you guys after the intern. Hey, you guys. Welcome back. Nothing much happened. I can't... I mean, up here, there was a battle. Um, does seem like the Tyrone's lost. But only barely. However, usually that does mean... Well, I don't know. Those two armies are still there. And their garrison is about halfway. I'm hoping they'll be fine. And the uh, Chinomi are pushing for Vestonia. Be interesting. Swaby are pushing for Nomusina. How's their capital doing? Their capital is empty at the moment. Well, and the Iceni somehow are still kicking even though the Ari own this whole island. I don't know why they've not kicked out the Iceni yet. Uh, just everyone focus on the Iceni. Unify Britannia for me, please. So only Uri or the Uri tribe will go for them. Even though they should have already been doing that, but whatever. Over here, no movement, and I didn't see anything down here either. It is now summertime. Our Okay, so our armies could suffice. They did hold. I do think get, get rid of one of these elites. No. Get rid of one of the freemen. I, I, I don't know. Alright. Baggage train. Tell me if y'all know the answer, but I think baggage trains only apply to their armies. Or do they apply to armies in a region? Like, can this one baggage train supply the other armies as well? Because I'm not 100% certain. Eh, you only get three, okay. And we're going to do the same, except you actually can't get the cav yet. So, what do we even want to get you? There's no cool mercenaries, I guess. We'll just wait and see. Ready for battle. Yeah, there's no cool mercenaries here either. So, it looks like it's going to be a slow process. However, the king, or the heir, and his army are now here. And uh, once we all loot, uh, recruit and muster our forces at Mastia, we're going to land at Io and probably move to liberate Numidia and then Africa. As Rome has held that for a long time. While our northern campaigns are also going fairly well, we will be getting the... What is it? The... The guard's hut. Guard's hut. I don't know what difference between the guard's hut and the outpost. Guard's hut is better, actually. Two food, public order, banditry, bonus garrison, and upkeep reduction. So yeah, go for that. Over here, the guard's hut, we're going to upgrade. Minus four food, two growth. Ooh. Actually, we don't We don't care about growth. Uh, Yeah, go for that. Nine turns. It's fine. Because eventually it just goes up to this. Haul the ancestors. Alright, so. We'll move out of that. I forgot they aren't shouldn't be in that. You're okay. Honestly, this army took the least amount of damage. I think pushing for Milanum would be a good idea. Hit the Romans while they're weak. And keep this army down here, though, to protect... Uh, Genoa. And we will be auto-resolving this just because, holy shit, this is a strong-ass force. 
And we have two armies, so we would inevitably win. But I don't trust uh, Rome two siege battles. We're gonna probably raise it. Milanum is now ours as well. Get out of the city because you'll die, or the public order will hate you. Oh, we are out of money. How did we get out of money? I uh, commons warrior lodge, and you don't actually have enough. Um, is there anybody in war that we can join to get paid? I bid you a hearty way. Yeah, I'll declare war against the Seleucids for. Oh, come on. Um, Parthia likes us. Bosporus Kingdom likes us. The Scordisci are not our allies. You honor us. No. There's food enough for two armies awaiting us when we have talked. You want military access? No, I'm wait. Oof, I'm glad I noticed that. Demand a payment. Hey, thank you, my friends. I will friends. take word of our agreement and put it before and my get people. farms. They will feast in celebration. So this army took more damage, and that's okay. Next up, we should probably liberate uh, the righty, like this region here. We'll probably liberate this one, as it's uh, kind of out of our way, and plus it would put us on border with the Nervi again. So liberating it would give us our western border secured, and hopefully we only would only have to send like one army to do that. Oh, the Massalian port is up again. We do get a new Assault Ares. That comes with a ram, doesn't it? I really hope... Oh, we can upgrade? Hey, okay, better holes. So, Celtic Axemen. Assault Ares, I don't know. They're not... They're more expensive than our ships. They have less health, though, than all of our ships combined. But I feel like they can ram. But I'm not 100% certain, so we're not going to spend our money on it. Either way, though, you're still recruiting. All right, we're going to end our turn, and I'll see you guys on the flip side again. Hey everybody, so Rome has sent a legion to face us. They're fighting our garrison army of Genoa. Um, yeah, we're not too weak. 2700 instead of 3200. Uh, they're getting some benefits from the Cohort Prima. Two units of them. And some militia units. No range to speak of and uh, only two cav units. Uh, hopefully that we can ruin them with our numbers and mobility but I'll see you all on the battlefield all right welcome guys to the battlefield so they do have the height advantage on us so I don't think we're gonna push them we're gonna wait what we want to do is link up our forces first our general is gonna have to stay in the back he's really weak and our spearmen probably gonna do best taking the blunt of their charge sadly while maybe trying to keep our warriors on the sides ready to flank. So line them up like that. Keep the warrior. Keep two units over there. Maybe three. And then well, two covering the far left flank. Slingers, however, we're on somewhat of a downhill slope. So they're going to be further back further back and group them up a bit more. General right there. And then we will have three cav over here. And we'll just put all cav over here. And we're going to enter. Start the battle. I said not to control our reinforcements because they are so few. I did not think it's worth it. Or maybe they're not going to come in. Either way, it's not a big amount. So they attacked us, so they're definitely going to have to come on us. Is this the Cohort Prima? Yeah, so I'm a little confused about the Cohort Prima. Marion First Legions are the first cohort, the best of their kind. Oh, so this is like the Eagle Standard. Great. So they're actually really strong. 
Yeah, they got a melee attack of 15. Jesus Christ. Okay, so they're forming at an angle on us. They have to come to us, so I'm not too sure what they're doing. Oh. They are coming to us. Okay. Cool. So I've got all our Iberian, or the Spearmen. It does look like they're going to try and flank us. They're doing a long spread out formation. Hmm. The Cohort Prima are coming on the right side. It's going to be interesting. I don't think we should probably start moving our Cav to the right. Actually, pull two out. And we're going to send three over here. Just two in the back here are going to maintain. They're going to try and screen our front lines. Yeah, they're coming for a charge. So our missiles, we want to focus on their only, only missile unit. Yeah, hit the legionaries. We want to outlink them. All right, we're throwing jabs. Oh, their one cav unit is coming to face us. It's gonna put us on slow motion. We do not want to lose this fight. Let's have target that unit there further back. You'll get more throws off. Pull out. They've engaged our main line. This side is outnumbered. Send this force through the middle. Definitely want to start slinging that left side. Go for the general. Come on, go around. Actually, go for the flank. Oh, that unit's getting kind of pinned. That's not good. Boost the line. Go for their general. Pull out. You've been engaged with a melee. That's not good. We're going to take a lot of casualties. Oh, yeah. That sucks. God, that sucks. And disengage there. Oh, this Roman army is definitely a lot stronger. I'm definitely not enjoying... Oh, wow. I didn't think that unit would break. Did not think that unit would break so easily. Kudos to the left side for holding. Get our cav in here. Get a nice rear charge in, why not? I was hoping to kill their general, but that is not going to happen. Left side's breaking. Go for the melee. Hold our general right here. Yeah, the left side's crumbling. That's going to really stop us. That unit came back, well that's nice. I think it's a little too late, but... 
Yeah, they are definitely beating our standard issue Iberian Swordsman, that's for sure. Let's start running our general out of here. I would try and pull more out, but I don't think we're going to get the chance to. Hitting their general, though, would be really nice. If we can get a nice rear charge, I mean, that might actually hurt them. Our flanks, though, are actually the parts of crumbling. I mean, we're breaking some of them. If we can kill that general, it'd be really nice, too. Oh, yeah, we broke that. We broke their general. Anything cavalry related, pull out. Ooh, hit the backs right there. The enemy general, is enemy general died, but the uh, legions of Rome are a lot stronger than... Uh, it'll take more than just a general death to kill him. Now, these are Italian militia, though, so we might actually get these units to break. Oh, the right side's breaking. Nah, dig it out. General run. The general should just get out. Even with the extra oomph of our cavalry, I don't think we've got enough. Clever on the Romans' parts, they just had enough infantry to outlast us. I think we're going to try and pull out. Anything and everything that's still living needs to leave now. Well, this main line, I don't know. They still haven't broken yet. Sad to see our infantry die. They're doing their best. The Romans are really strong. Ah, oh, no one's even going to make it. Nah. Let's just disengage. Yep. Pull them out. Pull the cab out. Uh, this is sadly a loss for us. The Roman, I mean, the legionaries of this late game Rome's really fucking strong. But we did save some of our army. We do have two north, so what in the hell? Oh, our garrison. There we go. Pull out. Get everything out of here. Save what we can. I wouldn't call that decisive, but you do you game, I guess. We're going to end our battle. Uh, they, did, they definitely did a bigger number to us. We did not do a lot of kills. Calvary getting the most, but they had a lot of legions. That's all I can really say. And plus two cohort prima. That hurt. We eliminated their skirmishing potential, but a lot of their army did survive. It wasn't the battle, but and now they're going to probably move to take Genoa back. But hopefully our two armies in the north can surround them. And plus the navy, we should be able to block them in. And this might be Rome's guarding legion of Italy. But at least we did kill guys Prisus and all of Noxus, which is our king. I didn't even think about that. Uh, escaped. Hopefully he can keep doing it. So hopefully he runs really far away. Let's load in here. I don't know how much longer we have. All right, 11 minutes, 12, 15, 20. All right, yeah, once this loads in, we'll get through the turn and probably call it a day for recording. If this turn ever just, or this uh, ever decides to end it, they lost 13 men to friendly fire. 
We did eliminate them to where they're just an army of melee troops, though, thankfully. Come on, we're almost there. Yeah, here we go. We're loading. Come on. This is on an SSD, too, so it's so sad. But, either way. I'm going to try and wrap up one of my Let's Plays before Rome Remaster comes out, because I really want to do a Let's Play of that. But yeah, we definitely, they beat us there. Hopefully we can run. Oh, he ran around the river. Nice. They're going to take Genoa. That's fine. We'll have to retake it, but it's alright. Oh yeah, they just walked back in. Wow. But they're garrisoning it, so we should be able to besiege them with our two other full stacks. And we'll need to pull back Oz Noxus. We should have moved our army south, probably, to defend, to help defend Genoa as... I don't know. Darkness gathers. You can feel uh, the light for my people. No, because I can't ally with them. That's why I was refusing it. I'm just going to let you all see the intern, since it will be the end of the video anyways. See, <laughs> show you all just how long it takes to get through it anyways. Okay, yeah. Rome's minor victory. Our king escaped with a little, like, half of his army. So, maybe we can rely on some mercenaries to keep it going until we can pull them out. That Rome is definitely kicking some very late game troops. I don't know what's going on over in the east. I'm glad our allies are doing something though. Almost here. It's always the uh, minor factions that go by really fast. All these factions that we've raised from the dead. Alright. So, let's get through this. Childborn, ally confirms target. Yeah, Oznoxus leveled up from his defeat. Well, that's great. Glad to see he's still learning. Uh... So let's go for the upkeep and replenish rate. Right. So they're probably replenishing since, I don't know, they might not. We were going to besiege them though. Bring this army in as well. And our king merge those spear units. Merge the cav. Get rid of that. That would, that would literally be useless. Recruit all the damn mercenaries we can. That's some... What is this? I don't... No. Hold on. Veniti. Mercenary and mercenary spearman. So yeah, that'll do fine. Hire them. March them in. The king's back. And this army is now surrounded. And I'm actually going to send our navy as well to go blockade it. To make sure they suffer. And there we are. But the Siege of Genoa is going to be for another episode as I'm going to call it here. So I hope you all have enjoyed as always. And if you have, like and subscribe. Take that notification button to be notified when I post videos like this and my other series. And if you do have any comments, let me know. And if you have any ideas for the faction I should play in the Rome Remastered game, leave a like or comment. <laughs> Not a like. But either way, hope you have a great Monday and hope you have a great week. This has been Spartan, signing off.